This story is a continuous story about the kingdom of Together We Build. The whole idea came from the intelligent youths who came together and then make a, a big farm, rear animals, make a fish farm. The whole idea is they will sell the crops and the animals and the fish to build up a school and a hospital. They consulted their former chief wise man the first. Everything was successful. Wise man the first, the chief, got a wrong idea, want to sell everything and use it for his personal interest. In the end, it didn't work that the option of the chief is to step, step down and set example to the kingdom and the entire village surround the kingdom. The chief stepped down, then they put a new chief on the throne. Who is the new chief? The intelligent catapult shooter. He became their chief and now is a king. Because the place is a kingdom now. He also advised the other villages to do farming and rear animals, make fish farm. They also did, and then he was successful in the whole kingdom. The kingdom went around the village, have a discussion with them, and they raised a big money. They were able to build up a big school which the school will serve the kingdom of together will build to the entire villages surrounding the kingdom of together will build they build a hospital a big one also to serve the kingdom of together will build and the villages surrounding the kingdom of together will build everything was successful they build up the school the school have a very high equipment with very good teachers, the hospital high equipment with very good doctors and nurses, everybody was taking part. The whole kingdom was going on so good. The youths, they form a group where they go round to check on their rivers that nobody will dare pollute there are waters surrounding the kingdom of Together We Build and the villages surrounding the kingdom. The youth set up a group who go house to houses to help others to do their homework. So education was going on very good. Work is in the kingdom of Together We Build. The chief is traveling country to country, get ideas, how is uh, uh, kingdom, his country, would then develop more and more and more and more. So it's always on traveling, contacting special people who have an idea how a country will be developed. The king, he goes to the other chiefs in the villages surrounding the kingdom of Together We Build, discuss with them what they need and what they are lack of. And he always provide. So everything is going on successful in the kingdom of Together We Build. Hardly you will hear that a disease is in the kingdom or there is a sickness in the kingdom disturbing or affecting the people living in the kingdom of Together We Build. Everything is clean. Their waters are clean. The sea is clean. Rivers clean, the forest is clean. Everything in the country is successful. And they are doing good in terms of education, very good. In the education session, they attach cooking course, um, uh, seamstress course, they attach handicraft, handicrafts course, they attach a lot of things in the school. 
the hospital is also doing wonderful work. They have all the equipment in the hospital. The, the kingdom is going on very good. This is where corruption, child labor, teenage pregnancy, drug abuse, and other bad influence and pollution. They came with the idea that they will send corruption to go to the kingdom and you should go and invade them and he can, if you can let them be corrupt, then they will get a chance. A child labor will come in, then the children will do works which does not even uh, help the children to do. The children will do any kind of work and they will stop going to school. The education will then come down because they don't have students. If a child labor succeeds, he will invite teenage pregnancy in. Teenage pregnancy will come and there will be pregnancy everywhere in the entire of, uh, kingdom. Entire kingdom. And then villages surrounding the kingdom. Population will go more, 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 and life will be difficult for the kingdom. After teenage pregnancy, Drug abuse will come in and then alcohol join and everything will be destroyed. Other bad influence will come in and come and play its part. Pollution will join in and they will collapse the whole entire kingdom. So the same corruption. Corruption came and consult the elders of the kingdom that he want them to be corrupt. And if they are corrupt, the king will be also corrupt. And then, because the king is corrupt, they will take him out of the throne and put somebody who is weaker, weak, on the throne. And then they can corrupt him more. An entire kingdom surrounding the villages also will be corrupt. Because he, the corrupt, said he heard that the king invited investors who are coming to the kingdom to come and invest and invest in the other villages. So if he is able to invade the kingdom of Together We Build, he will invite child labor in, teenage pregnancy will come, alcohol will come, bad influence will join in and pollution come and destroy everything. As he consults the elders, the elders agree and then corruption left. Then the elders come on meeting. One female get up and told the elders, are we not doing wrong thing? Look how far we are now. Our school, high equipment, education, very good. Our hospital, high equipment, hospital, very good. Our youth, they are all active, taking care of our waters and our rivers and the forests, everything is clean. We have reached far. Our king is going to bring investors to come and invest more. The work, everybody is working and the work is going to be more. What else do we want? Why do we want to accept ourselves to be corrupt and collapse the whole kingdom? This is not a good idea. I don't agree with this. The female elder could confuse the elders and then they all agree that they will not be accept that corrupt will come and destroy the kingdom. It is after they dissolve the meeting, one special elder who have access in the palace, in the kingdom, he knows everywhere. He knows the, where the secret of the kingdom. He came in with the idea that he will go alone. He will not consult anybody from the elders. He will only is taking his own decision to go and take the symbol of the kingdom to go and throw it away in the deep sea. Because the symbol of the kingdom is the whole power of the kingdom. If the symbol gets lost, 
the kingdom has collapsed. The king don't have any option that he will step down or the people of the kingdom will take him out of the throne. This special person then said to himself, if he succeed to uh, take the symbol, he will not go and sell it. Because if he sell it, the chief, the king, have influence everywhere. So maybe he can go and buy it back or he will go and collect it back. So he will throw it in the deep sea and then if the kingdom collapse and they put a new king on the throne, he will change the name of the kingdom instead of together we'll build to we divide, we fall. The special elder went to the palace because he is not being checked. Because he's going in and out. He has right to go everywhere because he's a special person among the elders. As he went, he saw the symbol on the stool to himself. He's going out of the kingdom to check around everywhere so that if he takes the symbol, nobody will realize that it is him who took the symbol and threw it away in the deep sea. So as he came out to check around, as he finished checking around, going into the secret room to go and take the symbol, as he went, the symbol was not on the stool. He was shocked. He was said shocked. Who took the symbol? As they were on discussion, the king then came to the kingdom, the palace. They tell the king, everything that you don't find the, the symbol of the kingdom. The king nearly collapsed. He was shocked. Then the special elder said the truth that it was his idea to come and take the symbol and throw it in the deep sea so that the kingdom will be collapsed and eat the king. He doesn't have a choice that he will step down and they will put a different person on the throne. His idea that he wants the kingdom should be corrupt. And then after corruption took over everything, other characters will join in. The king then told them he is going to a special place to consult the special place. In the kingdom, they have a forest where only the king goes there. It's a special place where if they have difficulties, they always go there to consult them. And then if the special place will give them idea or help them, he always help them. The king warned all the guards. No one should follow him. He's going alone. As the king went to the forest, Nearby the river, this is not an agreement. He have, he have a, a special cloth on, on him. So he took the special cloth, find a place, put the special cloth, then he hear a sound of children. You found it, you found it, you found it, you found it. The king turned around and saw special children who was dressed as dwarf to be able to seize the whole thing from the former chief wise man. The king asked the children, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Do you know this place is a special place? I'm the only one supposed to be here. What are you doing here? Many years now we are always playing in the palace and we can go everywhere. He said, yes, I know. I said you can do that. The king said to the special children. And what are you doing here? He said, you remember last week, we told you to buy us small, small shovels. He said, yeah, I bought it for you. The king replied, we ask you to play a game with that. And you never played a game with us. So we came with the idea that we will take that shiny thing on your 
chair to hide it and see that if you found it. So we came to the forest, dig a hole, send a special child who you use as a single dwarf on the palace and you did the whole talk to go and bring that shiny thing. He went and bring the shiny thing. We put it in the plastic sack and bury it on a hole, in a hole, cover it and put leaves on top. As you came to the palace, we were praying outside the kingdom and we were watching you. And suddenly we saw you coming out of the palace and the whole gate was closed. And then you were walking. Then we follow you, want to see if you find it. So we follow you and you came here, we hide ourselves, watching you, you took your cloth and fold it and put it exactly where we buried the thing. The chief shout, what, what, what thing? What thing? He said, the shiny thing on your, on your chair. He said, you mean the symbol on the stool? He said, yeah, we have it. And where it is? He said, it's under your cloth. You put it exactly where we buried it. The chief was shaking and took the cloth, saw a leaf, clean it, the leaves, want to dig with his hand. The children told the king, king, we have the shovel here. You can use it. The king used the shovel, find a plastic sack in the hole. The chief went in the hole, took the plastic sack out, opened it, and the symbol is in. He took the symbol and the children were shouting. He found it, he found it, he found it, he found it. The chief shot them that they should be quiet. Here is a special place. Nobody should know that they are here. The chief then asked them, what do, you, what do we do now? If one found, you hide something and then one who found it. The chief, the children, the special children told the chief that you have to stand in the middle, we will go, we surround you in a circle and sing, you found it and you will raise the symbol in the air. The king told them this is a special place. I will just raise the symbol in the air and you will just walk around me. The king was crying. The children were shocked. The king told, sat them down and told them that for a long time he didn't play this game. And they play, the game they play with him give him excitement and then his joy of tears is not bad. The king told the special children that he want to play a game with entire kingdom that the symbol, they don't find it, to see what the kingdom and then the other villages will think. Because automatically, if they don't find it, the king has to step down. The children agree, and then the king went in the palace, king is then thinking what he will say to the public on Friday. Friday reached today. The meeting will start in the evening. The king then invite the special children to the palace and told them that, look, I am going with you to the secret place. I want to tell you a story. The special children agree. They went with the king to the forest. They sat down in a special place. The king told them, special children, do you know you save the kingdom of Together We Build and you save my king to me? To be a king, the special children ask, why a king? They say, yes. The symbol you took to play a game with me, to hide it, and I should come and find it. I did not come to the forest to come and look for the symbol. The symbol was lost. Everybody think it's lost. 
Because one elder wanted to go and take the symbol, to go and throw it away in the deep sea, so that the whole kingdom will collapse, and me, I will be thrown out of the throne. I will leave the throne. And for me to see that you special children, I don't know what entered you that you choose this symbol to pray a game with me. You save in the entire kingdom. You save the entire kingdom and save me. That's why you saw me crying. I was crying because you save the kingdom and save me. That's make me cry. So I would like to thank you very much. And I'm going to show you all the secret places and tell you a lot of secrets about our kingdom together we build. You are the future leaders and I would like you to follow my footsteps. Thank you very much for saving the kingdom. Then the special children were about to speak, then they hear a voice from far. King of the kingdom together we build. The king of the kingdom together we build. The king of the kingdom together we build. I call you three times. Did you recognize this voice? The whole place was quiet. I want you to know that we live on this planet or on this earth before a human being came in and joined us. God has a meeting with us. The forest, the sea, the rivers, the mountains, the stones, the blood, the air, the rain, the sun, the night, we all came together and God told us that he wants to create a human being to go and make a use of what is on the land. We all agree. That's why a human being was created to come to the world, to come and make use of everything on this planet. Before human being was living God, God told him that as he's going, he has access on the planet, everything on the land belongs to him. He can make use of everything. The river, the sea, the forest, the mountains, the stones, everything, the animals living in there, he have everything for himself. But he should bear it in his mind that if he worship him, the creator, the God, very good is good for the human being. And if you worship the creator, the God, in the bad way, is bad for him. And everything that he will take on the land and make good use of it is good for him. And everything that he will take on the land and make bad use of it is bad for him. And he is going to pay the price in the end. That's why we the rivers, we the mountains, we the sea, everything, we are helping you the human being. But the only thing we cannot help you is if you will accept yourself to be corrupt, that one we cannot be interfered. If you accept yourself to pollute your sea, your rivers, and your forests, we cannot prevent that. We can only support you. 
but we cannot prevent you being corrupt or you destroying your waters or you destroying the air and you destroying the forest. That one is up to you because bear it in mind, God said to you, human being, that as you are going to the land, you have access to everything. If you make good use of it, it's good for you. And if you make bad use of it, it's bad for you. And it affects you, the human being, and affects your children, your grandchildren, your future leaders, even including the children who are not yet born. Because if you have disease in your body and you give birth, it can affect your baby. And doctors will find difficulties because there will be sicknesses where the doctors cannot even be traced. The doctors will be fed up and if they are not strong, they, can, they will even give up. All what I'm telling you is you give respect to everything in the planet if you treat them good it's good for you if you treat them bad it's bad for you and i'm telling you something the king you are doing very good you are bringing investors in your country look your country the youth are active they are helping each other and the way everywhere there is work nobody is lazy in the country Things are going on, but human being is a human being. You cannot get all of them 100%. But I just want to tell you something. If you will help the people who live in your kingdom to have a job, to have a lot of things that they need, and they have a good life, it's hardly, hardly, People, that people will be corrupt and it's hardly for bad influence to come to your kingdom. But if you let your people get difficult in their life, that's where they don't have a choice but they have to be corrupt and then they will, they will go, child labor will come, a teenage pregnancy will come, alcohol and drug will come, bad influence will come in Pollution will join them and they will destroy your kingdom. So if you want your kingdom to be successful, keep on doing what you are doing. Bring investors into your country. You are doing very good work as you are bringing investors to your country. Very good. Take idea everywhere. Continue doing the way you are always on the other villages, that, on, the, on the chiefs, having discussions and asking them what they need and what they are lack of. Keep on doing that. And it will be hardly that people will be corrupt and child labor will come in, teenage pregnancy will come in, alcohol and drug will come in, bad influence will come in, pollution will come in and destroy your kingdom. But you are doing good. Continue doing that. Let the people feel okay in your kingdom. Let the people feel okay in your country. Let the other villages surrounding your kingdom, let everybody be okay. Education is the most important. And try to educate your people all the time. I'm telling you something the river said. Use your media. Use the cultural group. Inform, let them get information, educate them on the radio, in the newspaper, and also the cultural group also should take part and make drama and educate the public. Be active like the way you are. If you continue doing that, your kingdom will stay very good forever. That's the only thing. I'm telling you, bye, the river went. Then one of the special child who the king was using as the dwarf on the palace said to the king, King, this voice, I've been hearing this voice to take uh, the shiny thing. 
as I went to the palace and then I went to the secret room, I was standing there and then I heard somebody was coming. I wanted to meet the person and ask the person if we want to play with the, the shiny thing, if we can play with it. But then I hear a voice tell me to hide. And then I hide myself. Then I saw this man. He was standing next to the shining thing. He watched the shining thing. Then he went out. Then I heard a voice tell me that I should take the shining thing. I find a plastic sack and then put it in. And then if I want to go out, he always stopped me. Don't go yet. Wait. Now you can go. And as I went out, I was just running to here. And then we hide this. We don't know that this is the power of the kingdom. And if this, the man could have get this symbol, the whole, he throw it away in the sea, the whole kingdom will be collapsed. The chief was thinking, and what is the chief going to say? Because the chief has an idea that he will tell them that the symbol has got missing. The team symbol is lost. They don't find it. And without a symbol, automatically, they have to take him out of the throne. So he will wait and see what the whole kingdom and then the kings surrounding the kingdom, what are they going to say? Are they going to say they should take him out of the throne? Or what are they going to say? The king even doesn't know. And me, I don't know. You, you don't know. The king then have a meeting in the evening with the whole entire kingdom. Everybody was there, including the chiefs surrounding the kingdom. Everybody was there. The place is full. The king then break news that the kingdom of Together Will Build have a bad news to you all. Our powerful symbol got missing. It's lost. We don't find it. We look everywhere. We don't find it. We ask everybody in the palace. Nobody has idea who took the symbol. In this case, I want to inform you all. Our powerful symbol, which stands for Together We Build, Without this, the kingdom doesn't exist. And me, the king, I don't have any option to step down. So I leave it to you now. What you all think? I just want to know. There was a big discussion going on. And what is going on? Our symbol is gone. And they all discuss. Everybody is shocked. Because the powerful symbol is lost. And nobody know who took it. Special elderly person who went in to go and take the symbol and throw it away. Get up and say, yeah, corruption was here. Corruption confused us to be corrupt. But we came with the idea that we will not accept ourselves to be corrupt. But I don't know what entered me. And I came with a decision that I'm going to take the symbol and throw it in the forest. So that the kingdom will collapse and we will put new king on the throne and change the whole name of the kingdom instead of together we build, to, we divide, we fall. I went in, I saw the symbol on the stool. I went to check around, make sure that nobody will see me going out with the symbol. As I returned back, I did not see the symbol. I did not take it. I did not take it. I swear to the river, this is not the agreement. I did not take it. The king then said, it's okay. Now, it's up to you. What are we going to do? For about half an hour, there's discussion going on from the people of the kingdom of Together We Build and the chiefs surrounding Together we build. One chief from the village, did you see? Get up and say, 
I will say the king has to stay. We have to go and consult the river. This is not the agreement. He will help us to find the symbol. Because our river is always taking part in our activities. We ask him before we do the farming. We ask him before we put up the schools. We ask him before we put up the hospital. And he took part and helped us. So we are going to consult the river. This is not an agreement. He will then let us know where this symbol is and we will find it. I don't want the king to be out of his throne. Everybody then discuss, there is discussion going on. In the end, the whole kingdom of Together We Build agree that the king should be on power and they will make sure they will find the symbol. Everybody agree because the whole entire kingdom and the villages surrounding the kingdom is there. Everybody agree that the king should be on the throne. Then the king get up and say, one minute, the king enter his palace, went to the secret room, took the uh, symbol, and came out with a symbol. The whole place was like, oh, king, why are you doing this to us? King, why, why? The thing is there, you say it's lost. Oh, the cheer and cheer and cheer say, quiet, I want to tell you the secret. As the special elder planned to go and take the symbol, to go and throw it in the deep sea, so that the whole kingdom will collapse and I will be thrown out of the throne. They will put me out of the throne. By then also, the special children, which I use them as dwarfs to seize the car from the wise man, the chief, and the chief stepped down by himself and then I became the chief and now I'm a king. The children, I always invite them in the palace to play. They asked me to play a game with them. But I did not get a chance to play a game with them. So they came with the idea that they will hide the symbol and I should go and look for it. So I came and I got the news that the symbol has got missing and nearly collapsed. So I told everybody that everybody should be in the palace and nobody should go out and nobody should come in. I am going to the forest and to the special place and consult the forest. As I went to the forest, took my clothes, fold it and put it in the place, I hear these children shouting, he found it, he found it, he found it. I turn around and then this is a special children. I ask them, what are they doing here? They ask, tell me that, they told me that I should have a, a game with them and I never get a chance to play with them so they have idea to hide the symbol, then I should go and look for it. I didn't know that this is the plan of the special children. So I went in the forest, put my clothes down, and this is what happened. So without these children having an idea to play with me, to hide the symbol, this man who could have taken the symbol, throw it away, an entire kingdom will collapse. And I heard that is the idea of corruption. So we are all going to look for the corruption and if we found the corruption, we will know what we will do with the corruption. Who is the corruption? We the human being. We will accept ourselves to be corrupt. We the human being. We will accept ourselves to be corrupt. 
And if we accept ourselves to be corrupt, then other characters will come in. Child labor will come in. Teenage pregnancy will come in. Uh, drug abuse will come. Other bad influence will come. Then pollution will come. We destroy ourselves. It is not anybody. The river spoke with us as I was in the forest with the special children. The river came and talked to me and he told me a lot. In the end, he told me that the human being, we will accept ourselves to be corrupt. And if we are corrupt, other characters come in and we, can, we will be destroyed. So, I am then warning you, don't accept yourself to be corrupt. If you accept to be corrupt, corrupt, the other characters will join in. I am going to do all I can to make sure that entire kingdom, all what you need, will be successful for you. The investors are coming and they are coming to invest in the kingdom of Together We Build and the surrounding villages in the Together We Build. You, the human being, you have to play part. I cannot do it alone. It's a teamwork. Teamwork. My kingdom is open for everybody. You can come in if you have some advice to give, come and give. If you see something wrong is going on, come. We have to help each other. That's why our kingdom is called Together We Build. Then, corruption had the whole thing and went to the deep forest, went and met child labor, teenage pregnancy, drug abuse, other bad influence, and pollution. They saw corruption and they were like, ah, could you make it? You invade them. They said, no, there's no chance. I didn't get a chance. And there was only one elder who have an idea to go and throw their, their symbol, the powerful symbol, away so that they can be corrupt in the end. Some special children went and take the symbol, want to play a game with the king. In the end, the king found the symbol. So we don't have a chance that we have to make a plan to go all together. We don't go individual anymore. Because if I don't have a chance, if any of you go, you will not have a chance. So we have to go. Full force, we are all going to the kingdom and then surrounding the village of kingdom. Go and corruption is coming, and child labor will join in, drug abuse will come, and teenage pregnancy, bad influence, pollution. We will join in full force. We are going in full force. Prevention is guiding the whole kingdom. Prevention had all what drug abuse, teenage pregnancy, child labor, bad influence, pollution and corruption said and send the information to the kingdom of Together We Build that now these bad characters they are coming full force. They are coming full force to come and collapse the whole kingdom and destroy everybody in the kingdom. The king sat down quiet as he gave information and asked his special cultural group to put up a performance and he's going to think again. So, see to this dance that a special cultural group put it on and find out what will be the solution. Is the full force of child labor, drug abuse, other bad influence, pollution, and corruption. Are they going to win? Or the kingdom of Together We Build and the people are going to win. See to this dance, judge it for yourself, 
P J K D A K A.